Hey, what's up? It's Snow. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be listening to Disc 2 on Panopticon's Revisions of the Past on the subject of morality and social disservices. So, that means we're going to be listening to social disservices, which is fucking phenomenal. Just check out the artwork. I love that kind of convergy sick and the lyric sheets in here as well but I've already gone over this vinyl this is amazing bind rune is doing pre-orders for the Kentucky LP so I would go pre-order that now so you know you don't miss out on it because it's gonna sell out like and then you're gonna end up having to pay a bunch of money and be bummed but um, today, I wanted to go over black metal. But not just any type of black metal. I just felt like listening to Panopticon because it fucking rules. And I wanted to let you guys know that you can pre-order Kentucky from Nordvis or Bind Rune Productions, whatever. But um, I want to go over the subgenre that is known as war metal. And to me growing up, you know, war metal meant like bolt thrower and stuff. So, the reason I'm making this video is, yesterday I went to get a slice of pizza, I just woke up so I'm still wearing my clothes from yesterday, because I'm a scumbag, but I went to get a slice of pizza and the cook was wearing a bolt thrower shirt from when they played Maryland Death Fest, so I was like, you know, the usual metalhead talk, oh dude, cool shirt, and I was wearing this, and he's like, oh, dude, Walmart to go goth is the best. I'm like, I know. like, And then we started talking, and um, I forget what band he brought up. And uh, I was like, yeah, like, I remember growing up, like, you know, War Metal was Bolt Thrower. And he was like, dude, like, that's what I thought, too. And I guess, you know, no. I mean, War Metal is bolt thrower that's what they sing about and stuff but this is what I really wanted to talk about this styling of black metal one of the more underground vicious forms of black metal known as war metal or bestial black metal whatever you want to call it but most people call it war metal and blasphemy this came out in 1990 in Canada. So, if you're a Norwegian black metal band and you're part of the second wave and you say that this record did not influence your sound or the way you dress, you know, using fake names and stuff, then you're full of shit because Fallen Angel of Doom is the blueprint to this whole genre of, you know, war metal and the whole Ross Bay cult, eternal bands and everything. I'm going to go over a bunch of stuff that falls under the, I guess it would fall under the war metal genre, even though you can just hear it as black metal and, you know, it doesn't really matter. These are all killer albums. And uh, the only thing about this type of black metal that bothers me is some of it is sketchy. And when I say sketchy, I mean, I know this isn't racist because you have an African American in the band, Carrier Storms, but there's a very questionable windmill logo right here, and that's not cool, but whatever. But you have Nocturnal Grave Desecrator and Black Winds. Fuck yeah. Traditional Sodomizer of the Goddess of Perversity. Carrier of Storms and Black Hearts of Damnation and Impurity. And Ross Bay Colt Eternal. And this record is just pretty much on everyone's top 10 list because it really is amazing. And this also, I think, kind of started the whole, like, side A, you know, 
darkness, side B, impurity, and a lot of bands follow that. I am just going to take this out real quick. These guys hang out in the Raw Space Cemetery way too much. You can look up uh, some info on the Raw Space Cemetery if you want, but black metal skinheads. That's what these guys call themselves, so, you know, I guess they hate everyone equally, or, you know, maybe they're sharps, I don't fucking know. And at the end of the day, it doesn't change the music and the fact that this is a classic. I'm sorry, but I am not cool with NSBM at all. Like, I'm sorry if you think Goat Moon has cool riffs. Do you know where those riffs came from? Yeah. But anyways, speaking of sketchiness, but awesome at the same time, Spain's Proclamation, Advent of the Black Omen. And uh, you might see some similarities here, which is um, another thing about war metal. If you could tell a lot of this apart, I, um, you know, bow my head to you. <laughs> but again, you have like Usurper of Eternal con uh Condemnation and inverted crucifixion. A reverent captor of abysmal flames and ultimate desolation. Abomination of four mayhemic winds and bestial offenser. And the reverend of goetic rituals, commander of 72 evil spirits on vocals. And again, you just have some awesome band photos and then some Spanish cemetery love and if you're a fan of blasphemy this is kind of like I was saying along the same lines of you know just vicious blast beats killer riffing bestial vocals and just all around killer black metal and again raw Bay cult nuclear war now I do not have conqueror um and that's a bummer. <laughs> I had it in my hand and I just, I don't know. But this is what I mean, like, to me that logo, as cool as like the upside down crosses, it looks sketchy to me. And the fact that I don't know what these symbols mean make it even more sketchy. So, whatever. I mean, it's out of my hands and I didn't pay for it, so. Thank you though to Jay because these albums do rule. Like seriously, this stuff is fucking amazing. Black metal, war metal, whatever you want to call it. And without blasphemy and this stuff, let me get back to a proclamation because there are members of proclamation in this other amazing Spanish Oh yeah, Titan Blood. It's one of my favorite bands from Spain, and um, yeah, this Accursed Skin 12 inch, I can't wait to hear new material outside of this one song. It's just like, holy fuck, this is amazing. And the other track on here was recorded in uh, 2011, but just so goddamn good, like, way 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 different a little bit just a tiny bit different than uh you know their last album and i i like the production a lot i like the songwriting a lot more it's a little bit different than you know what you would expect and that's awesome and also great artwork next up we're gonna go back up to the great white north with this amazing split on nuclear war now with black witchery and the mighty revenge who are playing in trenton new jersey on saturday with my friends in blasphemous not blasphemy blasphemous from new jersey ron and whatnot my old band used to play with them a lot they're good dudes and wolfhammer's playing that as well with shining i could care less about shining but this is Holocaustic Death March to Humanity's Doom. This is some of Black Witchery's best material in my opinion. 
and the revenge side is just vicious as fuck, like, for real. And, um, I'm pretty sure that there's a Bathory cover on the, um, revenge side of things. I kind of forget off the top of my head. Yeah, this has a Bathory cover on it. And I'm pretty sure that this other record I'm going to show you as well also has a Bathory cover. I just forget off the top of my head. But Black Witchery are not from Canada, but Revenge is. I fucked that up, sorry. But, um, yeah, Black Witchery is some killer USBM that, again, you know, kind of follows that whole Ross Bay cult sound. You know, just relentless, vicious hate against all mankind. I mean, fucking humanity noosed on the revenge side. Like, fuck yeah. This is just amazing stuff. Especially from Black Witchery. Like, R.I.P. Trajenda. Uh, and next up from Black Witchery, Upheaval of Satanic Might. This is the Osmos Productions reissue. And I'm... 97% sure that this also has a sick Bathory cover on it, but I fucking love this album. It's seriously insane sounding, and you have the um, ever so awesome Chris Moyen drawing his best goats. Seriously, that guy can draw any type of goat, and then you have the dudes on the back, again, kind of in that blasphemy format. Um, you have Side Damnation and Side Impurity. So, you have Impureth on Barbaric Base Onslaught and Malicious War Commands, Vass on Apocalyptic Death Hammers and Grave Desecration, and Trajenda, R.I.P., Tyrant of Black Plagues and Hellish Six String Holocaust. And this is the white vinyl on Osmos, but Again, you have some more Chris's amazing artwork. And um, this is one of the reasons for a long time I used to call this style of black metal bestial black metal because pretty much stuff like this. Bestial command for Holocaust torment the souls of weakened blood antichrist hammer crush, crush the race of holy filth as the call for damnation is summoned sacred desecration destruction paradise and total ruin death and damnation merciless hatred descent madness supreme massacre furnace flames engulf all life total antichrist mystery commence a eternal heretic exultion Broken corpses of priests lie below the cross of weakness. Impious order of holy death, angels burn, crucified and scorn. Invincible might, black blood cried. From the seventh sign of Baphomet, the eyes of the goat burn stronger now. Black desecration onslaught prevails. Demonic legions calling for anti-Christ. Holocaust eternal victory over Jehovah's throne. Fuck yeah. Killer, vicious black metal. And last up, since I'm running out of time, and last up, just in general, is what I meant to get into Canada's death worship extermination mass. Holy fuck. Again, Ross Bay Cult, Nuclear War Now. I love this mini LP. It's so goddamn good. From just the the font that it's everything about this is great but I'm running out of time fuck I have 40 some seconds but you have Kay Foster on guitar bass vocals effects Jay Reed on drums and effects and Black Winds on additional vocals and uh yeah you know I don't have Conqueror, but, you know, this is pretty much the closest right now I have to Conqueror, but I had it in my hands. I don't know why I didn't buy it, but I'm going to. War Cult Supremacy is an amazing fucking record, and if you're a fan of black metal, and especially this subgenre, you need that in your life, and I'm slacking, but... Like I said, to me, this is all just black metal. It just happens to be more vicious than most. And if you want to call it war metal, go ahead. 
To me, this is just still black metal. <laughs>